High jumpers, you can okay. check in now. It's finally starting to look and feel like spring in Irish country. So my boys, one will be there. Here's our girls lining up. I'm watching two of my grandsons compete in this relay. A year of hurdles for these high school athletes. Second call for the co-ed 4x100 relay. Do you know what lane Monty's in? Caused some setbacks for a favorite spring pastime. It's always entertaining. I missed it, but I think the kids missed the most. Yeah. Nice job, buddy! New guidance from the Minnesota Health Department now allows students who play outdoor sports to do so without being masked, but they still must be masked when they're not actively playing. As a parent, this, this gives me hope for Minnesota. It comes after a lawsuit was filed against the state by Let Them Play Minnesota, an organization made up of parents and coaches who've been pushing for maskless play since the pause on youth sports was lifted. They also had support from the Minnesota State High School League. So we're grateful that they've listened. We believe that politics, the governor's been playing politics with our kids versus just following the science. The change is a welcomed break for both parents and athletes. I mean, I think everybody's kind of relaxed to be without them and the kids that want to wear them do wear them. Putting a favorite spring pastime Hey, get it. Back on track. I'm so happy it happened. In Maple Lake, Devon Roming, Carol Evan News. With these new guidelines, state leaders are recommending all middle and high school students get a COVID test every two weeks.